46 poise, but I'm not sure poise was really making a difference, if I'm being honest. I think a better shield... Hmm. Well, I'm almost curious now. Uh, well, you know, I thought I thought that. Am I trying to, like, maybe I'm trying to, like, walk in the direction I want to dodge, but I don't actually hit the dodge. I just think I do. I'm surprised that I should have healed. I noticed that she seemed to heal less than she does, like, when I... How am I trying to say this? When she hits my shield, she heals a bit less than when she hits me. I'm wondering if maybe... Well, this is already kind of... I might just be getting lucky, though, but... Oh, damn it. I didn't have enough time to get it up. So I wonder if, with the right weapon... Could I... Because my original idea, way back in the day, when I first started this, was I'm going to have a shield, specifically this one, and I'm going to... I actually think I had one of these. That's not going to work. Oh, actually, that one has good crit. Do I really not have any, uh, repairs that bleed? I might not. I'll just see and see and see. I mean, it has 110 crit, which is what Rosier's has. 5 frost buildup isn't bad, and frost does work well against millennia. Eh. This will probably be fine. We get one point up in vigor, which probably doesn't do much, but oh well. All right. The question is, can I uh, counter her faster than she, she can, uh, you know, hit me? Oh shit! God damn it! And also, how much will she spam that move? That's another issue. Why didn't my my stamina didn't go down at all when I was blocking. Oh, I get a heavy off. Oh, well, no. I guess not. Uh, I think I was doing a heavy. I thought I was going to counter and it didn't counter. Or she didn't hit me or something. I might be able to. I might change my armor again. I don't know. Like how... I know I shouldn't be so picky about the armor, but... <sighs> yeah, I'll just go with this. Heavens knows these guys by themselves just have so much damn poise. Not that that means anything on me, but still. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get most of my damage from these, uh... Stat buildups and, uh... Parries. And the cheeky little attack here and there. Yeah. Frostbite and crits are gonna have to be my main uh, mainstays of doing damage. Mm. On the plus side, her hitting me doesn't seem to actually drain any... Well, let's see. Wow, it's not actually draining my stamina at all. That's surprising. Problem is, attacks like that just heal her for a bunch, and I'm almost dead. I'm dead. Because I chose to heal. And then she chose to hit. Uh, an idea did just occur to me that might be good, but I will wait till I die to implement it. Because die I will... Die I must... I pr probably should have healed there. Uh-oh. Well, actually, less uh-oh, because I don't actually get... health. Well, unless she's behind me, I think. I think that's the main issue. Is, is she... I need to always face her. Uh, she does heal a lot, though. But then again... Uh, it's not a fight ender as it used to be, so... So my individual... Like, hits seem to... Seem to damage her as much as she heals against me. So yeah, if I can just balance it... My hits out with her heals... And then my critical should, in the long run, outlast her. I don't know. 
I gotta remember not to dodge or well, then I don't know how to how to presage that uh mm, yeah I need to remember also need to remember not to uh, try to counter that one because it occurs to me whilst uh, this little thing called frost does debuff what if I were to in fact switch over to blood whilst that is procced and now I am heavy so I will in fact switch back to my customary that proc blood switch back to frost because by then frost will probably have unprocked I use my counters to hopefully get rid of some of the damage she heals use my crits to whittle her down this might be how I want to do it mm, yep I was I hit the button too late I really need to watch out for that one Frostbite is off, so I will heal, switch weapon, ah damn it, I thought I dodged, yep that killed me. I have got, it's just, now that I'm not as mobile, I really need to keep an eye out for that attack. Oh, well, yeah, that's fair, rip. Can I? Will I still be shielded if I do this? I mean, it looks like I'm shielded. I might not actually be shielded, but we'll see. I seem to be, actually. This will be the real test. Yeah, I I'm shielded. I can just poke at her. I'll have to recover a stamina eventually, but... Oh, maybe this is a better way of doing it. I... Oh yeah, I can poke it over through this, even. Oh, this could be a way to keep her from regening too much health. Although, she saying that she has regened all her health, in fact. Even this isn't fast enough to counter her. Well, wow, actually, wait, how much is she healing per hit? That's three. Wow, she basically healed 300 worth of damage. All right. Let's... Okay, so I cannot attack during that. Fair enough. Honestly, this... She would be so much more doable if she did not have Waterfowl. Because the whole reason... whole reason for this shield build right here is because of Waterfowl. If Waterfowl was on an issue, I could go back to two-handing weapons. But I can't, because I can't figure out how to dodge that. Reliably, at least. Okay, I don't know why... You know what? What if uh, I like having that on? Yeah, I need. I like need all these. I like having that. It's great. But I'm wondering if I shouldn't put that on, or maybe this. I do do a lot of successive attacks. Maybe uh, if it's too much issue with my stamina, I can always switch back and deal. But if not, eh, my stamina covers decently. Yeah, try to hit her at the last. Oh, actually, I hit. Wait, no. It said successive hit, so why am I not healing? Oh, there we go. Oh, ma oh okay, I, I see what it means. Oh, she healed back all her stuff. Alright, I guess I didn't get the... I shouldn't have done that. Oh, yep. Goodbye. I put in another attack when I should have dodged. Uh oh. Ooh, I was fortunate that went off. Or I would not be dead, but at least. Hmm. 
I need to remember to walk towards her, though. Otherwise, I'll never be facing the right direction. Oh, she's at full health again. I see. Mm. Either I survive her waterfowl, and she heals back all her damage. Or I don't survive waterfowl, and well, I don't survive to end the fight. God damn it, that waterfowl move is just completely changes the nature of the fight. It just completely changes everything. I, I keep overestimating the thing's reach. I think you get a spear. Spear might be a better idea, actually. Got the pokiness. Probably not as good crit, but... And more damage. About the same speed. Maybe I should upgrade a spear. Yeah, this, I'm just gonna die here. Well, no, nah, I'm not. I'm gonna try to go keep on. She just healed all of her health back. The problem with the waterfowl dancing, I gotta dodge into it. Or you just gotta be really far. You can't actually dodge away from it. Because it'll kill you if you do that. So you have to dodge into it, but you have to dodge very specifically into it at a very specific time. And if you don't have amazing hand-eye coordination, you will just, you're just, you just have fun deathing. You know, out of curiosity, out of sheer curiosity, how is this going to fare? It does more damage, so that's more damage to poise, but it has no bleed or anything, which could be an issue. Okay. No bleed, but it does do more damage, which means she can't quite heal back as much. I wouldn't imagine it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, what? Uh, guard counter is particularly fast, either. Which is another downside, but... I'm gonna have to watch my stamina a bit more, but... Oh, I got hit by that? What? Is that not facing the right way? So thus, the next question is... Can I apply effects onto it? I cannot put base effects on it. I cannot affect its scaling. Can I apply? I cannot. Do I really not have any other Great Spears? No, I do have Great Spears. Oh, things like faith, though, I see. I'm gonna take these out real quick. Where is it? Ashes of War? Like, can I make them, like, not holy and stuff? Where's the Great Spears? Oh, shit, or did I put the... Did I, did I put... Did I put stuff in the chest? I might have put stuff in the chest. Whoops. I bet that's what I did. I bet I put something in here. Where did I? That spear. No, I have them out. Wait, what the hell are they? What? Oh, they're there. They're be yeah, okay, they're below the spears. So why can't I find... Are all of them, are all of them special weapons? Are all of them special weapons that I can't modify? That would appear to be the case. Every great spear that I have is too special to be modified. What's this sword spear? It's a halberd, which makes me think it's gonna swing. That's an interesting swing, but yeah. So which one of these would be the best? That seems to have the best going for it so far, the partisan. Oh, that has blood loss though. How does it compare damage-wise right now? You know, I'm gonna go put some levels into this. See how this works out. First things first, so I'm gonna... What if it's bloody and snowy? Ooh. Well, I've got this upgraded to plus 24. I hate how it feels like I'm almost trying to cheese millennia. I would, because the moveset isn't... I would really like to just be able to, but not good at, at it normally, and then combine that with the waterfowl dance, which is too much. Okay, well, let's see how this works. Oh, wait. Did I take off? I... Even this... Did she get... I can't tell sometimes with this one why, because I don't think I was, like, I don't think she was behind me then. Uh, well, I need to get rid of that. That might actually not be a bad idea, because now I will actually usually be at full strength. Enhances counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons. Hopefully that stacks. Hmm. 
Mm, fair enough. I shouldn't have... Died. Yeah. I, I can't remember to not hit the R2 when I mean to hit R1. And of course, oh, then I just thought of something. I'm not even sure how this will fare against her second stage. I haven't seen her second stage in forever. I can't get past the first stage because of the waterfowl dance. I can't beat her second stage because of the waterfowl dance. And everything about this boss is because of the waterfowl dance. Just can't figure out how to dodge her. <sighs> you know what? Maybe, maybe I just need to use this. You know what? How about this? I use this shield because I don't lose any stamina. Hear me out. I don't lose any stamina, so I can hold her off indefinitely. So I do this until she does. Well, either her grab it. Uh, that, yeah, that. Which I wasn't paying attention, so I got grabbed by that. That. Or her waterfowl. And then I try to dodge her waterfowl and try to learn it this way. I just need to wait for her to eventually do her waterfowl. Which she will at some point. Eventually. One day. Maybe. Maybe one day she'll realize I have infinite stamina while she's doing this. Or I get grabbed by that. Well, I couldn't get target lock on her in time, and then died. And she didn't once do the waterfall, waterfall attack. I don't know how long I just sat there. She just never did her waterfowl dance. I have upgraded so many weapons over the course of this playthrough, which is in part because I just haven't been sure on what to use, and also because I haven't been sure what to use for millennia. Uh, this might work. Colossal weapons have been good at staggering her. I haven't staggered her yet. Oh shit. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. I was. I keep expecting her. I don't know why. I keep expecting her to do the other one. Alright. Okay. I survived. That's better than most. I'm dead. Oh wow, I'm not dead. How the hell did that not hit me? And juke. And juke. And boom. Not as much as a jumping attack, but that's alright. Take a sip. Jump and... No, that didn't work. Fortunately, she didn't hit me somehow. Mm, yep. I, as soon as I realized what she was doing, I knew that was gonna hit me. And that was just... Me not jumping forward. Jumping to the side. Also greed. Probably take a few more hits before I have to heal again. Oh shit. Probably right after this. Okay. I should not have done that attack. I should not have done that attack. I'm gonna die. I did not die, but... Okay, fortunately she's letting me heal. Unfortunately she got back all her health. Well, not all the health, but almost all the health before the waterfowl dance. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. Wow. I... miscalculated that. Okay. At this point, I just want to get to this. Oh, shit. This is gonna kill me. Hello, Millennia Goddess of Rot. I haven't seen you in probably a couple days at this point. Well, at least I got her to second stage, which is more than I can say for my sword and shield beer build. Nah, I think I've wasted too many Estuses, even if I make it to... Then again, at this point, I just kind of want to... Oh, again, I don't even know... Oh, right, that's this one. What, I don't even know what getting her to second stage will even accomplish at this point. If I can't even master her... Moves at the first stage, it's not like, uh... I mean, she has a, basically the same moves. Just deadlier, so I mean... Yep. Hmm. 
it's a shame because she's such a good boss. I just wish I was in Germany. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too salty, honestly. I'm not even as salty as I would with Margit. It's just, it's more, it's more just. I mean, I guess at this stage, I kind of have everything countered. I just need to get better at things, so there's that. Is it crazy that I don't think me leveling up more would even help me in the slightest? I feel like I'd, I could have maximum in every level and I still wouldn't. I still would have difficulty. Yeah, that's a bummer. I may very well, after this, very well may never fight this boss again. That's a pity. But yeah, it's just every single time I would have to relearn this and more importantly I have to deal with Waterfowl Dance. These ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this. I have heard tell that freezing pots can actually uh, kind of stun her out of the waterfowl dance. We will see. Oh shit, that's not what I want to click. Oh, hey, wow. It actually, I didn't mean to do it, but that actually worked out. So it does work. I only have a very limited amount, though. That's an issue. Alright, good to know, though. Ooh, that could mean that I could potentially put on better armor. Which would mean less damage to me, which in turn, and also more poise, which uh, won't help with much, but... It, every little bit helps. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Okay, okay. Interesting, though. Colette does work, at least when she's initially jumping up to do it. At least I think she was doing the waterfowl dance. No, I'm pretty sure she was. She hadn't done that other thing. And... Yeah, that's right. That's right. She actually kind of holds it for a bit and then goes up. I don't know why that kick has hyper armor like that. I think that one I just need to... Probably should have healed there. Oh, that's a, that a mistake. She didn't even give me time to sip. Well, you know, I tried to dodge that, but that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Keep thinking I have healing items when I do not. I goddamn know, okay? We've established this. Oh, I'm mad at myself. Oh shit. I'm not dead. I didn't realize she went. Well, she was gonna go straight into that. Okay, I got hit. <sighs> At this rate, I'm gonna double my play hours just by trying to fire. Okay, round 900,542. And since sleep has occurred, I will be rusty. Then work will occur, and I will be rusty yet again. And so the cycle will continue. Maybe I should spend some time getting her uh, attacks down to dodge them. I should probably do that. I can't see with this hammer in my face. I'm... Ugh. that? Oh. I tried to do the uh, L1. Uh-oh. That was a kick. Ah, uh, yep. I dodged too soon. And she did to follow up that time. I think I need to dodge to the left of her. I think if I dodge to the right, she does that. That's probably it. That's right, I got like a billion of these.
blade of Mechla. Damn it, damn it. Ugh. Death, oh death. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe having I mean it does decrease damage, but maybe if these were both both bloodied. That's gotta combine and do something, right? Man, I'm not even salty. I'm not even tilted. I'm just tired. <sighs> not actually like rage at any point in this fight. It's more just, oh, uh, here we go again. It's not like I could really go to any other part of the game. The only other part of the game left is the, the final boss bosses. Well, bosses. I know I fight Gideon. Got that spoiled for me, but I expect. Apparently, fighting at all. These other optional bosses before Gideon makes him stronger, but oh well. He he's never gonna be as bad as Millennia, so uh, I wish I could dodge this properly. God damn it. You gotta play aggressively, otherwise she heals too much. But if you play too aggressively, she will kill you with waterfowl dance. I cannot. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time dodging her shit. Because sometimes I can dodge him pretty well. Hopefully I proc bleed. I did not. Sure, I'll, I will stagger her when she has her feet firmly placed on the ground. But when she is midair, nope. Okay. Bit greedy, but... I still got hit by that, and I'm dead. I thought I got the dodging off on that. But then again, how can I? Because I rarely ever fight her second phase. I rarely actually face anything similar to this attack. Well, actually, other moves she does, but even that has a tell. If I could get bleed off more often... Okay, because I just dodge the wrong direction every single time. I'm, uh, uh, yeah. Because right now it takes me like four hits. Four L2s. Four hits with, so that's about 180. 180 bleed per, per combo, I think. I'm going to go pop over to Renala, actually. I have... I have many mimic or whatever those things are, larval tears, that's what it is. Let me respec what I can into arcane. Wow, what the heck is going on with uh, my R1? What's going on with my spinny wheel? It jumps from like 229 to 632. That's crazy. Oh, I bet because that's the acquired amount. Yeah, because I, I need probably 18 to, okay, that's what, that makes sense. How does that really affect? 144 as compared to 105 or whatever it was. Doesn't really feel worth it. Uh, let's go look at all my weapons. Let us bleed. The thrusting sword, which is nice. Wonder if sleep affects her. Probably not. I'll try that. Oh, my thanks. Hopefully, I can still wield my crossbow. I can. We'll see if this makes a difference. I am just at a complete loss at what to do. Guess I'll just have to brute force it and just, over time, learn her moves better. That's, that's really all I can do at this point. You know what, I think every five defeats I'll go and uh, kill some things and level up. I think that's what I'll do. Every five times he beats me I'll just level up, probably like 
Probably like stamina or something. And then when she teleports away, let's dodge back. Okay. Denies her some... Some heal at least. There we go. Now this, I've just got to dodge at the right time. God damn it. I don't know why I cannot dodge that. I just do it too late, I guess, but... Other than her flying at me, I don't know... Other than just, like, just counting it out. Maybe I should just count it out at this point. Uh, but then I have to get all the way to second phase, and... That's a pain in the ass in itself. Oh. God damn it. Uh, screwed that up. I can't help but wonder if I should use, uh, I like my wheel, but its blood loss does not scale with arcane. Damn it. Ugh. There's just nothing I can do. I have to out damage her. I know I'm not good enough to dodge all her attacks. get some of them down, but not enough to make a lower level or lower damage weapons make sense. I need to more so dodge into her with her attacks. Oh shit, I'm dead. Yeah, I tried to dodge that, but I just got stun locked. <sighs> yeah, them combining Waterfowl Dance and the, the regen, that, that's, that's just artificial difficulty at this point. Like, either of them are a decent challenge by themselves. Combined, you have to basically be... Basically do gaming for a living to actually be able to do anything about it. Which I don't. I do this casually. Some say for fun, but... Maybe, I don't know. At this point... Not the funnest thing to do. Most fun. Ah, whatever. Don't even know if... Can leveling anything up would even help. dealing like 200 blood loss per, per, per like hit and it still takes like three or four hits for it to go off on her okay actually dodge that probably should have done that that was probably a mistake and if I could poise through her attacks it wouldn't do anything because guess what she heals well, maybe eventually I can get good at dodging her attacks. If I can at least get better at dodging her waterfowl, then that's, that is a lot less damage she'll do to me. Oh, damn it. I'm so tempted to use the Mimic tier, because I think combined we could definitely poise her out of her enough. She'd still heal, she'd get a lot of healing off, but I think the amount of bleed and poise we could collectively do would be more than enough. Plus, the Mimic tier is better at using items than I am. Damn it, I was trying to dodge, it didn't work. Damn, this could be such a fun boss too. It just, it just, she just sucks to fight. Man, it could be such a great boss too. It could be such an enjoyable fight. It'd still be hard too. It'd still be hard. I mean, it wouldn't be as hard, but you know, at least it'd be enjoyable. Okay, why did I had my shield up? What the hell? Not that I did any damage to her anyways. I mean, I'd like to beat her without a summon. I'd like to think that there are bosses... That all the bosses in this game can be beat legitimately without... Well, I say legitimately. Summons is legitimate. It's a game mechanic. But, I mean, like, can be beaten, like, by yourself. Even the Crucible Knights. I know you can do it. Those two... The, the Crucible Knight gank boss... I've gotten them down to like the last one, I just messed, I just screwed up with the last one. You can do it. It's not fun, but you can do it. Like this one, they're also optional. Millenn Millennia is just such a build destroyer. Like with the other bosses, sure, some builds might have harder time, but... Like if... For example, if you're sword and board, good luck. Good freaking luck, you better... Like, sword and board... A tank, even. 
just anyone who's figured out how to make poise work is like you have to like there are no doubt probably the majority of builds that people have simply they will not be able to use because they like you have to you'd have to be a god tier gamer to actually use them you would have to be just exceptionally good not even not, i'm not even talking about like people who are just casual it goes like beyond like even good souls players would have a difficult time or would find them impossible If that's what they were going for, they succeeded. But it is not fun, that's for sure. And there goes all the damage I just did. For some reason, I still get hit. Well, I know why I got hit by that one. It's because I let my shield down just in time for the FU attack part of that. Why the hell did I dodge that or jump that way? Why do sometimes, when I jump, I go in the right direction, other times I just don't? Oh, shit, I'm dead. Yeah. I, like, I don't know what to do. Leveling up's not gonna help. I'm at basically the... I mean, maybe leveling up endurance would help? To, like, for just to have more armor on so I could carry more stuff on me. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go grind my levels up a bit and see if I can't get up to at least 60, 60 endurance, maybe more. Maybe if, maybe if I could actually get my poise back up again, it would help. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. See if that works for me. Cause if I can just, if I just have, I think what's now screwing me a bit is my poise actually. I'm getting staggered in ways I don't remember getting staggered. So we'll, we'll see if that's the issue.